a post-apocalyptic future that has been torn apart by shadowy creatures known as the Earless. Humanity's heroes are the players, who pilot mecha known as equipment to battle their inhuman enemies while earning fame and fortune to boot. Hey everybody, welcome back to another installment of A Week in Geekdom here on YouTube. Geo here, and today we're talking about Listeners, the recent studio MAPA production. I am so excited about this. One, it's got one of the uh, Odeka 7 writers, if I remember correctly. And two, uh, it looks really interesting. I love... The concept of this series, the trailers and posters hooked me early on, and I was so excited to dive into this series. In it, we follow a young tech head called Echo. He dreams of working with uh, players and their equipment, and you know he scavenges through mountains of debris in this town that has been ravaged uh, in this post-apocalyptic future he's always dreamt of this grander than life story but he has come to realize that his life is being reduced to just working there and you know uh, sorting through trash basically until one day he finds this amnesiac girl in buried in the rubble who he names Mew and she has a mechanical port in her back which indicates that she's a player and the pair become friends and they vow to, you know, get together and defeat all evil and all that stuff. This is, to me, a strange experiment of blending series into one because I saw a lot of things from Eureka 7, Fully Cooley to an extent, you know, stuff like that, a mishmash of plots and tropes that, you know, we, we've experienced this before but the unique setting and utilizing mecha tropes and fandom with music and character drama like you know echo and mew and their friendship being formed and all that stuff certainly gives us a very fresh take on the whole thing and it makes for a worthwhile experience i particularly loved uh, the story and it yeah from the get-go uh, as soon as I started seeing the episode unfold I'm like yeah that's that's uh, an alternate reality with uh, Echo being Renton and Mew being Eureka and you see the story of this young boy dreaming of something bigger and that's a trope that uh, you know it's been used in movies and other series and other books stuff like that but it's still a worthwhile trope that doesn't tire itself out and you want to root for a character like him it will remain to be seen if he progresses in a satisfying way I take, for example, uh, Renton in Odeka 7, where he starts out really annoying for a 13 or 14 year old kid, but by the end of the series, he matures into a fine young adult, which you know you want to root for, and he's very likable. But you saw the progression throughout a 50 episode series. With this, we don't know yet. Uh, by lit I'm literally talking about the premise and the first episode, so we'll, it, it will remain to be seen. But I do like what I'm seeing, you know. Uh, Mew, she's sassy and she's quick-witted, even though she's amnesiac. With you know, it's a trope we've seen before, but it plays pretty well, and she is vivacious enough that I want to root for the two of them to succeed. The uh, mecha designs are, from what I've seen, they're not really my favorite thing, but the story is so different and endearing with the whole music theme uh players you know they're playing their equipment instruments it's very uh on the nose with the music references uh you know uh i, I want to see what this world has to offer and the world building and all that stuff the earless i love that they you know uh, again devoid of sound and music is such an integral part of the story and to the human condition to 
humanity as a whole. I'm talking, of course, of us, you know, not in the story per se. So it's very interesting what the story can do with the themes of uh, music and its power and influence over us as a species. I don't know. I'm very intrigued. Uh, I do know that the series is written by uh, Daisato, who worked on Eureka 7, and it has the same visual style. It, it looks similar to that stuff. But I also liked the kooky nature of it, where you have giant monuments and the whole music aspect and the amp that Echo builds. It sort of reminded me of uh, Fooly Cooly in a way. It's a bizarre coming of age story. Have you seen Listeners? Let me know in the comment section down below. I think this one is going to be special. I feel it in my bones. Let's hope it's true, right? <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and being a part of A We Can Geek Them here on YouTube. Uh, subscribe for more content like this. Hit the bell icon so you see these videos on your feed at all times. And, of course, follow me on your favorite social media platform. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff. Guys, I've got to go. I will catch all of you on our next video.